and welcome back to the minecraft video on the village craft server season three episode number six of our small series on the server so in the last episode we have made this entrance of the gatekeep uh and then in this episode i say we're going to work on uh the wall which you can see i've already done a part of and also create another tower and link them up over like a really long extended gate so as you can see here uh yep i have started it already uh i have a nice little cool design which includes the magenta just so it gets uh in implemented a little bit more uh so right now as you can see i'm just melting a bunch of cobble and yeah it's probably the most long-winded thing that we have to get because it is such a like big part of the build so what i've been doing at the moment is just going down here and um Clearing out this small area, which uh, is very... Oh, we'll get some more coal because I'm running out on that. Um, so this is how I've been getting my resources. Uh, there we go. Uh, my, co uh, my stone. The reason why you've got two log pillars there is because this needs to line up with this building here. So what I'm going to have to do is once I've completed this bit of the wall, uh, so I need to basically find out where about the middle is, so this can come over here, uh, so we can get like a decent sized platform, but you can also see that I have flattened out that island at the moment, I will also terraform it slightly, so there's a lot more cobble in there, uh, because it's going to be like completely industrialized bit, where it's just been ruined, just due to it being completely like born over. It is a long distance, sorry, that side to this side, so we'll just see how it looks. But in the meantime, I'm going to finish on this, uh, on the front of the wall, see how it looks. So I've only done one quarter uh, or one third, and then we also need to find out how it's going to go around the corner, because I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. But apart from that, I'll see how it looks, and I'll get back to you guys with a bit of an update once we uh, once we get onto the corner, I guess, and see how it looks from afar with uh, it more just than one. I shall be right back. Okay, so I've applied it across all four walls and we've just got to the corner. I think the corner is going to be easier to fix than I thought it was going to be because all we have to do is just leave it as it is now. Maybe replace or add some texture and add a bit of elevation just there so it's not just a flat wall. Um, the only thing I think I might do is these structures in the middle. Is I had them as stone, I had them as. Um, log so i'm going to see how that looks now um and then we'll see if it needs to be changed i'll probably change of it so there's four there i'll change the ones on the right because this goes with the logs and i'll keep the ones on the left and then we'll see how that looks all right cool i i like i'm liking it you know it just gives a little bit more color into it so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna replace it all and as well as uh no i can't do those because uh they're on top of hmm i'll replace all four of them and then i'll see about replacing the other like stone bricks in it because i like the way how it would look but the problem is it's just applying it and i need to think what i want to do around the corner because i could easily just change it so it is just going with the same wall design uh the problem is then just won't look as good so i will be right back what i've done is i replaced all of the uh middle ones and then i've also removed the big pillar on the side and made it so it's not got it as an even on the edge so what i'm gonna do now is work along the edge a bit more um our fire is on the server so i'll see if he wants to do anything oh he's got two deaths now i think i was there for that i'll see if he wants to do anything and then um i'll get back with you guys with a bit of an update so i shall be right back all right guys so in the last little bit we were just building along the wall i've been able to get a bit more grass and as you can see here i've got another call i do have fire in the mm -hmm. call because uh I'm not very good at them. Uh, I don't know how it works. I think it's divided by eight, but then again, it's just something that I don't want to do. It, it does look nice how it goes into the wall. So, but yeah. What did you want? You wanted the number coordinates, right? Uh, yeah, I'll need your coordinates right by the portal. I'm going back so I can get some more, um, not death fall. Let's not fall into a bottomless hole. Um, so I can get, you know, it's set up and it's not linking to other portals because right now it's linking to the wrong portal. Ah, cool. 
So yeah, I'll just need those coordinates whenever you got them. I'm going back to get some obsidian. Cool. Did you go uh, pen and paper then? Pen and paper? Pen and paper. Uh, just type in the chat. And oh yeah, that's true. So it is <laughs> one five nine seven minus one seventy two. So I will be right back, guys, with the connected love at Liverpool, and we can see how that looks. Hopefully, you're going to connect to the ceiling as well. Oh, all the way up in the ceiling. We don't have the network set up like that quite yet. It's pretty basic, well, primitive. Just... Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, that's fine. All right. I'll be back mm -hmm. when we've connected to the Never portals. Nice. Cool. The link to the closest portal to it. So. Okay. It'll work. And then yeah. Can you put some back like stirrups or whatever the hell they're called on the back of the front gate as well? Mm. I just need to decorate the back as well. I've just neglected it. <laughs> no, let's do the front, man, and get it done. Exactly. Oh yeah, we're over by the uh, the sign tree. Yeah, capital. Mm -hmm. Which I'm kind of like tempted to dispel like this. Like, I don't know. I feel like that is like something, that? but I don't know what it is. Uh, that sounds like the capital from the Hungry Games. That would be it then. We can name it yeah. after that. Uh, do you have any food I could eat? Uh, no, but I'm pretty sure I've got some bread which is grown. Okay. You mean wheat that's grown, and then we can make that into bread? Exactly. Okay. Bread that is grown. I like I like growing bread. Oh yeah, dude. It's the only way you can do it. Yeah, I only need like two pieces of bread. I have I have some food back at. Uh, oh, that's not all grown. Home. Uh, just take this. I'll just throw what's left, or like, get the stuff that's left. You're linked all up. Oh, I'm linked all now up. If I go back through, let me just test going back through, because it links you to your portal going through it. Does it link you going back? Nope, it remakes the portal in a different location. Fun. So nope, I have to move the portal. Alright, we'll be right back once uh, we got a link back up. Hey, you did it. It nice. is. Alright, that's exactly. Okay, it's hooked up. That's good. Yeah, we'll go back through. I've got plenty of blocks for me as well. So that's fine, we'll go Actually, and... I'm gonna let you go through first. Uh, is this right? Is it? Let me see. Oh, if it's oh. not right, I'm gonna be scared. Yeah, no, it is. And then this is the old one. Oh, wow, so we're so close. Alright, guys, so I have finished the edge of the wall. Uh, looks very good. Now, what you've got to do is uh, work on the exterior. The reason why I've stopped underneath there is because. Um, also, I meant to not put the oak there, because I was going to put dark oak uh, in the ocean to basically, basically show that it's waterlogged. And then uh, underneath here is going to be mossy stone brick. But yeah, that's the reason why I've done that, and I've just gone into the block. Oh, God. Okay. Anyway, yeah. So, what I'll do now, I'll do a bit more resource gathering, and then I shall do a basic area for this and work out what everything should be. Uh, it is a big project, once again, just this one little bit, just for the entrance. Uh, but once we're onto this, we get Patton and permission him to destroy all the big trees. Once we get that done, we can start putting some farms along this area, and we can basically just work our way along. But for right now, uh, let's work on the rest of the wall. Let's get this bit done, um, and then we'll see how long the video has been. Uh, hopefully, that will just do us up to the top. So I will uh, build up these two areas now. Um, very good, this is the same height that is there, uh, just so it looks a bit of consistency, and then I shall see how that looks. I'll be right back. Alright guys, so a bit of an update of what I've done. Uh, as you can see, I uh, I can't remember what basically where I finished it off. Uh, I've built up this uh, tower now, and I connected with this platform, and what I basically wanted to do is see how lighting works in this area, because it's one thing that I'm really missing, uh, and it's struggle to make it look. let's just put it on the inside of these areas and we need to think of the way how it's going to look it's in down here so if we do every third okay let's see how this looks from the bottom also i've uh, applied these uh the glowstone onto the wall just to give it a bit of light oh i like that hidden um so one thing we'll do eventually is probably swap them out for uh probably sea lanterns would be the best thing um just see, how, just see the way how that looks um often that looks really nice um but yeah so one thing i need to do now is close up the underneath of it i'm gonna go to sleep now just so i can say what i'm gonna do so i need to close uh the underneath of it and then work on an arc 
matching sort of thing underneath. Uh, once I've done that, it should be pretty easy to go from there, and then we can work on the design of the tower. Because the reason why I'm doing the towers last, because if I need to, um, I'll show you actually. So if I cover this entire area up down here, and then make that bit uh, a bit of a curvature, then there's no point in having it. Um, there's no point in having it exposed and then have a design on it. So there's no point. I'd much rather just do that wall and the outside wall. The outside wall is connected to another tower over there. Oh, that is the drowned, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. And let's see if I can get a trident. Fingers crossed. Come on, give it to me. Nope. Oh, well. Uh, one thing I am really struggling with is food. So uh, we'll see about how we can update that in the next couple episodes. But uh, what I want to do is, once I get to that bit over there and make another tower, is basically just have the wall going through flow uh, until we get to a certain point. Uh, but we'll get to that when we get to it. Um, I think it's really set in stone at the moment. Just working on the outside of the like the original exterior of the building and the castle. Uh, or kingdom, sorry. Uh, but until then, I will work on this bit area. Uh, like arching thing, see if I can get something that makes it, uh, makes it look quite nice and then get back with you guys, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I've worked out what one of the arches would be, like one quarter of it, so, oh, I mean one half, um, and so where that stone brick is there, that is the middle, so you can see that it would be like, be a decent sized arch, it would actually look quite nice, the only problem is the fact it does go into the water. So, I don't know whether or not I'll just see how that would look afterwards, or we decide on something now. What I'll probably do is, also the reason why I'm mapping it out on dirt is because, as you can see, I'm doing it on the outside layer. So all I can do after, all I, or sorry, all I need to do after is go through and place them all with uh, stone bricks. Which will make it very easy to complete. I'm just making sure anything. But yeah, so I think I'm going to go with that. I definitely do like the way how it looks. It's completely different to that one over there. Um, and then see how it looks afterwards. And then if we need to make any changes, whether or not we have to fill this in or we do another second arch underneath and then fill in the bits in between. That's just something that we'll see when it comes, um, honestly. So I shall be right back with it being completed. We'll do one side, we'll see how it looks. And if we think it looks good enough, then we'll, uh, we'll repeat it on both sides. But apart from that, I shall be right back. Okay guys, so this is the way how it's looking at the moment. As you can see, I've still got some scaffolding up there. But, apart from that, ouch. Um, this is the way how the arches are looking. Uh, I really do like the way how this is turning out. All we have to do now is duplicate on the other side and then fill it in. Um, so it won't be that big in total. It'll only be four wide. So, I, what, what you can see here uh, was me almost doing it on the inside for the inner two rows. Um, I don't know how much I'd like that because the problem is, is the fact that it's just one bland colour. So I was kind of thinking about just filling in um, or getting some colours and then making like an interesting uh, swirly effect along the edges. Maybe like a, a black or a yellow. Just something to break it up, you know. Uh, but apart from that, this the way how it's looking at the moment. I will get back to you guys once I have duplicated on the other side and then in the next episode we can hopefully start working on some towers um, and then also start the boat. Oh, I still haven't done one of the sides. Oh, okay. I thought I, uh, I, thought I completed it all. But uh, that's fine because this wall is actually going to connect to a tower over here and then I'm going to create, I'm going to dig this bit out a bit more. Okay, it's more like sewer system so people can get in and out of the city through like hidden ways as well. So what I want to do as well is follow out this bit here so it's like an actual like gorge sort of thing. So we'll build up the wall slightly and the dirt on the sides. Also you can see I've covered this entire thing in. Uh, I don't know whether or not I want to do design for it. I kind of do but I kind of not as well because it's not worth anything. And then we also need to think how we're going to do walls on the other side as well. So like over here. Do we replicate it so it's actually got a bit of symmetry or do we just like get it back in? Because what we could do if we go out there is then just bring it straight back in, um, which would actually look quite nice with the scale of it and then have it so the bit in the middle um, and then so then it comes all the way out 
Yeah, I might do that instead. And then you've got this bit up here, which can be like a, a gardening area. So what I'll do, and then I'll make it so it's actually like squarish. Pretty sure if I keep on running straight, because this bit here is going to be like the Neverack uh, magma blocks, all that sort of area, um, which is just like no man's land. Yeah, and then oh, we can basically destroy this entire area, make a dock area number two, and basically uh, make this connect to the sea. Anyway, I will be right back once uh, I've completed the bridge, and I'll see how long the video's been going for, and I'll see if I need to. So I will be right back, guys. Okay, so this is how it's looking at the moment. Um, still do not know how I feel about it. What I don't like about it is just how plain it is, you know? It's just got no detail to it. You've got the walls, and it's got cobble, it's got smooth stone. The only the problem is the fact that it's just an awkward... It's just an awkward bridge, so I also need to like close up with maybe we close up with like cobblestone or something, um, just to give it a bit more color. Uh, but one thing I want to try next is basically adding like three or four layers of um, fences in there to make it look like an actual gate. Uh, and then once we've done that, I mean, do I have much cobble on it at the moment? I kind of do. So let's uh, let me get up there, and I'll see how looking how cobble looks. Um, in the middle of those so hopefully it gives us just the color that we need because it like it is a very gray palette or we could go with, like wood or something Ooh. anyway yeah i'll be back and uh i will see how it looks okay so i haven't seen how it looks yet but ah huh, i think it's definitely getting there we can probably add some more elements of it but we'll do that after. Now we need to think how we're going to do the gates so it looks like it, uh, it can close. Uh, one thing we could do was one, just put like fence posts and see how that looks and do it like two layers thick. Or we can use uh, logs. So what I'll do first, I shall see how logs look. No, I'll see how uh, fence posts look. And I'll see how logs look. I think fence posts are probably going to be the best one. Honestly, we will need like a lot so i will do that and be right back so yeah the way how this whole place is standing out the only thing that's letting us down now is the towers um the problem is if we leave it like this we're gonna have to do the uh wall designs for the oh hello fish oh, we're gonna have to do the wall designs for the um the towers on this side would uh be a bit yeah you know oh well but I shall see how it looks with uh, fence space. I forgot I was going to do that. So, but yeah, I shall be right back. Okay, so I've added in the fence post, which I do like a lot, by the way. Um, but I think the thing that's missing the most is just detail in these like blank spaces. So what I'll do, <clears throat> I'm going to fill them all up with cobble, and then we're going to work out a design which we can uh, replicate with. Um, I don't really know what block to use to be honest. We can probably use, I mean, those stones are always good, and we also need to think about lighting area as well. Because uh, as you can see up there, at the moment I do just have a bunch of torches, which of course just don't work. I did say originally that I was gonna like work out what it needed to be, uh, and then put sea lanterns in when someone starts selling those, or we can get them ourselves. But for the meantime, this is the way I'm gonna end the video. So. I might work on it a bit off camera, uh, at which point you'll see the change in the episode which is coming out next week. But yeah, so, but apart from that, this is um this is a dumb project. Um, and then the next episode we shall build up the towers and then also work on the boat, which is uh, going to be in homage to the what's it called the new features stuff like that because it's going to be like uh, beached. But apart from that, remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next adventure. Peace!